Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 56 of the Red Force Podcast. My name is Joey Tolado. Joining me today is Christian Tolado. And Christian, new technology. Well, it's pointless technology. Second cam experience, Christian. Well, we got a we got a uh, behind the scenes camera. Behind the scenes camera, you know. For no reason. We're just adding we're just adding stuff to the show. Address the uh, camera at the back there. Sure. There, yeah, there it is. Why? I don't know. Because we have the technology. We have the technology. Why not? We're just adding technology. Now will this fuck the video? No, it won't, Christian, because the second cam is on like seven frames. Okay. Locked, Christian, to seven frames. All right. It's just there. very, very small resolution. So it should be fine. Let's hope so. Alright. Chapter this week, Christian. Hype as fuck. We're ready to go. Reverie it's all coming together. On Thursday, Christian. <laughs> Get ready for that. Oh, yeah. Uh, cancer. People pull it up. I hope we don't just power scale people the entire time. Uh, well, you know. That's, that's gonna, to be expected. You know, that's to be expected. King of Lightning's there. We're going to talk about Sanji, especially because of this chapter. We're going to you talk know, about there was a one. There was a secret stream that Brago did yesterday. Uh, it's not very secret. It's still up. You can find it. It's on, like, some other channel, but... It's some secret stream with Brago, and, like, people calling out people. So the, the river is going to be a fun time. Is this going to be YouTuber beef? I don't know, Christian. We need, people need views. They might start new beefs. That's true. Maybe we should start a beef. With, with who? Who are we going to start a beef we'll with? Start a beef with Dritz. Dritz. Yeah. <laughs> if you want. I mean, well, that, that, that's an option. It's an option. You know, whatever it takes to get to a thousand subs this year. We need year. beef to get views, you know. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Christian. One Piece week this week. Anime episode. Oh, my God. Abysmal. Abysmal. Abysmal showing. You get nothing. You lose. Trash. Ter- terrible. Absolutely garbage. Two minutes of stills. Poor animation. Poor art. The only good parts, Girl the Mochi, and the end with the semi Snake Man transformation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not watching anime, watch it next week. Watch it next week. We got Snake Man. Or this week. Natoshi's found. Natoshi has been found for the the Snake Man transformation. He's put his uh, flair on it. Uh, We got Snake Auras, got Crazy. Snake Smoke. Snake Smoke, Craziness. I right, get ready for it. It's gonna so be hot. We'll find out what's up. It's gonna be hot. What what what's that going on, Christian? Yeah. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Except the chapter. Except the chapter. Uh, stirred up a lot of a lot of debate. Pivotal chapter, Christian. Uh, tell us where water is going. Sure. Let's let's just get straight to the chapter. Let's just go into the chapter. All right. Chapter 930. 930. Ebi Su Town. Now, I don't know why they didn't call it Big Mom's here. I don't think it would have given away the chapter, Christian. Sure. If we just call sure. it Big Mom's here. Alright. First off the cover page, best fan request ever. A Oda, Rouge. I mean, I already drew it, you know. A Rouge and Cracker riding dolphins. Ridiculous. Ridiculous request. Great request. Uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, you know, they've got a relationship because, uh, Cracker beat a Rouge. So he's beating him in the race here. What a, what an interesting cover page. Can this be Ken? No. Oh, that, that's their fight? A dolphin race? Yeah, that's how Rouge escaped. Or a dolphin. That's crazy. I'm sure someone will make a massive theory based on the cover page. Which is it, you know. A fan request. A fan. Uh, it, Where do we get a new cover story, by the way? We know what it feels like it. Yep. All right. You know? When he wants to put something into the plot. But right now, he doesn't care. He's doing fan requests. Uh, if we get fan requests like this, don't mind. Just how it is. Yeah. Great. Great great fan request. Sure. All right. We get back into the chapter. We get to see Zoro. He's fucking around in some town. There is another leftover town called Ibisu. Zoro gets a warm welcome, everyone smiling and laughing. What is going on here? Just a normal town, secret, regular town, everyone's happy. They're uh, poor, but they're happy. What's the message here, <coughs> Or, 
What are you, what are you dying? Let's go. Or on. is it some kind of trap? There's no trap here, Christian. There's no trap here? No. I don't know. I don't know. What's the point of this village? I guess it's to show the other side of Wano. Maybe. Is it to make Zoro care? People are saying it's like an allegory for the Straw Hats at the moment. Nah. Because they want to see, like, Zoro leave the crew and shit. Okay, well... People assume that Zoro's got problems with the crew. So if that's true, then this is an allegory for the crew. Everything's fucked, but we're still smiling. You stop smiling, you get bad luck. But Zoro enjoys that. Yeah. At the end. He, he I'm drinks... just saying, if that theory is true, Christian. He drinks the quote-unquote Kool-Aid. At the end. Sure. All right, he's, in, he's on board with the message. It's clean water. That they bought. Maybe. 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 Multiple ways to interpret this scene, Christian. Are they all ghosts? Are they all ghosts? They're possible, Christian. Because the well's broken down, the town's broken down. Are they all ghosts? But this is clearly just set up the uh, Witching Hour Boy, which will come into play shortly. Surely. Let's get into the rest of this weird town. Geography time. I think Zoro is on the other side of the fair capital. Yeah. You got Kuri on the on one side. You got the other side, Ebisu. Because you see him pass through. Kind of confirms that like the capital is the central point. of The Wano. central point of Wano, the capital. They got Asuka towns around it. Yeah. So I think Zoro's on the other side. So he's not in Kuri because they say that. Yasu explains that only humans can smile. That's why we smile. All right. Sort of Not necessarily messenger. true in One Piece land, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. They make fun of Zoro's three swords. Saying it's a gimmick. Some kind of gag, is it? Roasting him. Yep. I think uh, it's trailers officially to, what is this, some kind of bit? Yeah. It's a bit. Yeah. I think it's a combat bit. A stick. All right. A gimmick. All right. Yuchimitsu Kozo shows up, showed up and gave them cash. They're grateful for it. Now, this is... The Witching Hell Boy. The last hope for the Hype Ninja. For those people out there. But it's a, it's a boy. So sure. The, you know, whatever. But he's from this town, assumably. Gonna look weird. Is it Otoko? Otoko. The, the girl who always smiles. She always smiles. She has some kind of ninja skills, you're saying? Alright, this is a theory. She always smiles. So she could be from this town. Where everyone always smiles. Everyone's always happy. Uh, I think it's going to be a recruitment process. I don't think it's going to be this girl specifically. She, but the girl might be from the town. Kurumasaki could be giving money. No money. Stealing from the rich, giving to the poor. Kurumasaki, we all know. Uh, Momo's sister. Yep. Hiori. Hiori. Uh, she's, she's stealing from the rich, guys. Giving it to Otoko, she's she's dis- distributing. Or the myth could the just cash. be that he, the the figure gives still so much gives to the poor. Doesn't they don't necessarily. Well, I'm tired like tired in multiple theories here. Uh, the as with as that, all good theories. The do. problem with that is I think this is Zoro's opportunity to recruit a powerful uh member. But it's the Witching Hour boy. It's the Witching Hour. Yeah, but like man, you know Billy the Kid. You know, but apparently this boy is boy size proportions. You see silhouettes. Not a man. Christian, this is one piece. I mean, he could have a fat head. Sure, but purpose of this character in the grand scheme of things is it to give us uh, that. Cute I think it's the lead in, lead into Hurori and what she's actually doing. Why world. is Zoro involved in this plot? Just, just because he's too, he's the edgy one of the crew. Sure, give him a little character, a character moment. He here. smiles at the end. He, he smiles. He buys, in. he buys it. He's, he's all in. He's worried about that uh, that well though. He stares at it multiple times. So what's going on with that well? I think he is thinking that this town's fucked and he doesn't want to drink the water because he feels guilty. As again, are they ghosts? Eh, I don't know about ghosts, Christian. But it's all you know, post. A, a, a well that's not used. Hey man, hey man, the time fruit exists. A, a well that's not used, broken down. How are they drink it normally? There could be shit at the bottom of that well, Christian. Maybe there's yeah, a dungeon. That. Maybe there's that. dungeon at the bottom of the well. Who knows? Those who smile have good fortune, according to this village. If you stop smiling, you don't have fortune anymore, Christian. Zoro drinks the water. He smiles. He's having a good time. Now, that after that interesting part of the chapter's over, we get we go back to the present. Yeah. Kaido. So we don't necessarily know what Zoro is doing in the present. No, he. this is in the past, whatever. A little How, bit in the past. Yeah, whatever. Zoro, 
doing something. Connor is sweaty as fuck. He's worried about Big Mom, Christian. Big Mom's on the way. Big Mom's here. Christian, here's the thing. We'll talk about this topic of the show, which will be the ramifications of this revelation. Big Mom being here this early. But well, well, let's let's continue. Big Mom's we'll, here. We'll give our thoughts later on. That. Big Mom found out this path to Wano via her vast network of intelligence. Intelligence network. I'm not Big Mom's stupid and childlike, Christian. No. I've said this multiple times. She can't be stupid. She runs a massive empire. People are going to say Montour with, does that. With economy, with with the uh, a satisfied population, Systems. with multiple laws on candy, and you can't eat candy this time, you have to get a permit, all these kinds of laws. No. She runs a multi-country empire. I think the dubbing down of Big Mum is to justify... The, the thoughts of uh, alliance with Luffy, that kind of thing. But this is the thing. Don't right? think she's dumb. She's not stupid. She has her crazy moments. Sure. She's a disturbed individual. But she orchestrates the assassination plot against the Juma. Now, some people might say, you know, Mondor does this. Uh, uh, Baron Tomago does though, this. Even though we see her directly involved in the pudding yeah, plot. Yeah, Katakuri does this. Even though. Again, meeting we, great with the Germa. We see her directly talk sure. to pointing about this plan. Oh. She wants the power. She she knows about the world. All right, she's not stupid. She has her hunger pains. Her dream is childish. Sure, she's a bad person. She might be in denial, but does that make her stupid? No. All right, Big Mom, not stupid. All right, all right, get that out of your head. Cause that's head cannon. Back to kind of being sweaty, Christian. Back to kind of being sweaty. Big Mom pirates are just rushing to these defenses. Just rushing to do them. What are they going to do? What are cannonballs going to do? Nothing. Perismero, Smoothie, Daifuku, blocking cannon fire. Alright? Yes. Big Mom shouts. She has arrived. Uh, she wants Straw Hat. She wants Zeus back. Now, does this put a hole straight to your theory? Absolutely not. That... Nami's going to get Prometheus. She's going to have Prometheus and Zeus, Christian. That's insane. <clears throat> Unless the purpose of her not having Zeus was to prevent her from coming to Wano. Exactly. It's pre to prevent her from traveling nah, wherever no. she wants. Nami needs those power-ups. It's happening. Don't think it is. How's she going to get those power-ups, Christian? Uh, her own merit training. Oh, her own merit. I'm tired of this her own merit. It's her own merit that she stole Zeus. All right. Sure, but Zeus is a sentient Nami's cloud. Nami's done nothing with her own merit. Usopp well, what are you talking about? Usopp no, 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 gave her the weapon. No. What's the difference? No, the difference is... Usopp Zeus gave her the power. Zeus is a sentient cloud. Alright. Zoro bought the weapons. He didn't make the weapons. What kind of fucking argument is this? No, I said Usopp made her the weapons. Yeah. Zoro didn't make his own swords. Well, you fucking cloud. Alright. What's the difference? Big Mom, Nami still has to control and use this. Because Zeus. I don't Zeus, understand this. Zeus is a sentient being. Who cares about this own merit thing as well? She, she's a she's a scumbag from the start. Well, uh, she's an opportunist uh, from the start. Why is everyone like, no, she's going to be honorable in her training? What? That's not her character. Sure. She's but a thief. She's a thief. And sure. She uses things to her advantage. I wouldn't mind if she stole Big Mom's secret weapon, but this thing is a sentient being. Kind of. What do you mean, kind of? I mean, she's like... He's an, dumb. <laughs> a sentient being as, a, as an animal, perhaps. Are you done? If Big Mom's, the, if Big Mom's the feeding Christian... Well, 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 ba ba ba. Oh, well, all right. So good girl. Because this Nami disrespect is out of control. She beat. What are you talking about? I want. I want she beat Khalifa. I want her to get no, with Zeus, her uh, Prometheus own merit. I want her to get Zeus and Prometheus, so she climbs the ranks of the Straw Hats and becomes fucking pretty good. Is that her own merit? I'm talking about. She needs to be like sure the powers level. She debate. needs to be somewhere, Christian. You can talk about the She's power. She's nowhere level near Daifuku. She's nowhere near Oven. She needs to be at that point. Okay. Okay. Maybe even beyond. But. 
you want to see characters get power ups through their own merits. I think her using her okay. wits to steal an emperor's abilities. That's fine. Is her own merits. If if Zeus wasn't sentient and could do things on his own, fine. But that's not the case. I don't understand this sentient point because she she clearly controls them with her tactical mind. But in a combat situation, Zeus is already on board. And she'll be ordering them around. It's not like Zeus will be doing his own thing. But he might. I don't want that. Oh, all right. I don't, I don't see the whole merit argument at all, but whatever. It's because it's a thing. It's like if 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 Chopper and Usopp have a fight together, that's a dual fight. Yep. Zeus and Nami have a fight together, still a dual fight. Yep. So you're going to take away some points from Nami. Don't want to do that. That's some dumb shit. Don't like Zeus. All right? And it's Nami disrespect. I don't understand how it's Nami disrespect. She's going to be a fucking god with Zeus with Rufius. She doesn't need him. She doesn't need him. She doesn't need him. Ladies and gentlemen, she right? doesn't need them. She can work it out with her wits. Christian Tolano. We have seen her defeat... What? Mo- we seen her defeat Khalifa, the woman that was given Sanji a run for his money, in Water 7. Christian. Uses her intelligence and weather skills. You think a lightning bolt from the clouds will... Subdue high level dudes. Super lightning bolt. Yeah, from Zeus. No. Yeah. From skill. From Zeus and Entes from Prometheus. It's gonna be hype. Get ready. It's lame. It's lame according to Christian. It's, it's lame because it's not her. The the argument that she you... wouldn't she wouldn't sure she would have to power our Zeus up, but she wouldn't have to to to, to, to tacticianly place so, them around the battlefield because so, they're so overpowered. They just do everything for her. No, she controlled them. It's not like... Yeah, but Prometheus and Zeus are, so, are already stronger than Nami. Did he take points off Big Mom because she doesn't control them specifically? No, because they're her ability. Oh, so what's the difference? They're her ability. She what sto- do you mean? Nami would steal the ability. This is insane. It's stealing the ability. But Big Mom is miles stronger than Zeus and Prometheus. You can make the argument that Zeus and Prometheus are stronger than Nami. <laughs> How do you suggest that Nami... Gets competent quickly. Intelligent. She's already competent. She's going to have to get a better weapon. Why? A quicker weapon. A faster weapon to build them. No. Super clouds, Christian. She uses the mirage tempos. Can't get hit. We're talking about observation hockey, Christian. We're talking about uh, mirage tempos. Oh, That doesn't help observation hockey. Yes, it does. People are going to get... Choose the right one. Have you heard of the fight against Enero? Well, Luffy shut off his mind and Enero couldn't sense it. All right, because there's no intent. But Nami's still there. Mirage tempo. So let me get let me get this. Mask. So we're on this Nami train at the moment. You think a mirage tempo would blind observation hockey people? Depends what types of observation hockey we're talking oh, about. Does mirage tempo confuse Katakuri? No, absolutely he sees not. The future, the image future. He sees the image future. He sees a bunch of mirage tempos. Doesn't help him. This is a ridiculous argument, Christian. Nami. But he clearly still has base observation argument. Sure. Which it will easily, easily find Mirage Tempos, you goon. What are you talking about? But his attacks will go through the air and he's not going to be able to work out where to see it. Because the attacks, it's a Mirage, your, your vision's blurred. All right, so Christian. You'll be able to know which one's the real one, but will you be able to hit it? I due think to no mirage? one's going to agree with you at all. The Mirage. Obscures the attacks. So if, if I th- throw a beam, if I throw a punch at Nami, but it's the correct mirage, the correct spot, as it were, there's still a whole bunch of mirage air between that. So you throw that punch, that air warp, that, that fucking attack doesn't warp, the, the illusion of the attack warps, right. we'll, and you still miss. We'll move off this point, but Christian's no. thesis is Katakuri cannot sense... Mirage Tempo. I said future sight people. Can Katakuri say it's Mirage Tempo? Probably. So who would have future sight and not normal Aki as well? That's not the point. This I already ridiculous. said I already said the reason why How can Adele be it? able to find Nami? What are you talking about? The Mirage. Get out of here. You sense it, you still have to see her and fire the attack. People can sense animals at great distances just by their presence. You'd sense her presence. 
Would it's you? The, it's the presence of the person. Because Katakuri can't, 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 can't sense for Pay's presence. I mean, Christian. I mean, what's, what's the story with that? Can Luffy can't either, apparently. Exactly. So, what do you want? What are you talking about? The whole from Pay thing is an interesting argument. Fujitora is the only one who always has it on. Always. What about Rayleigh? Could Rayleigh sense uh, Mirage Tempo, Christian? Probably. Apparently, Mirage Tempo is the is the key. Well, we already talked to, about this. To we talked about this with with fucking what? Shiryu having the clear fruit. Why well, give Shiryu the clear fruit when Observation Hark exists? I disagree that it will clear his intent because that's fucking dumb. But it still matters in combat because he's still invisible. Even if you have Observation, it'll help him. Do stuff outside of combat. Exactly. Doesn't need to be a combat. I'm saying. Fruit. I'm saying. Imagine this situation. I put a, a mirage out. You really can't see me clearly. I'm blurred in some way. You use observation hockey to pinpoint my location. You fire the attack, but you fire the attack at the mirage because you see the mirage. You still miss. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think you'd sense the uh, the will of the person, Christian. You would, so you would know it, where, whereabouts they are. What about in uh, what about in uh, the film where they uh, sense the invisible ship? What do you think about that? Or is that not canon in your mind? It's not canon. Okay, there you go. Not, not canon, canon for Christian. But the anyway, ship. we're talking about Nami way too much. I gotta stop bringing up Nami because Christian goes on a fucking Because Nami rant. disrespect. I don't. I just, oh, she needs Prometheus and Zeus she to does. compete. She does need no. Prometheus and Zeus to compete. No. Yeah. Disrespect. No hockey. You're disrespecting the intelligence factor. No hockey. Yeah, I'm saying she can use the intelligence factor no. with those two individuals. But Prometheus is a dumb. Zeus is a dumb one. All right. How does Prometheus get over? Stupid. We'll see what happens, Christian. Is Soul King Brook might be involved. Now multiple characters are involved. Sure. We have two. Mis- we have two people that can manipulate. But you know how I feel about undeserved power ups. I think her using her wits to steal them is fine. Sure. That's one time thing. If it was a sword, fine. But every time now we're gonna get. Hey Zeus, do this. Okay. But it be thanks. It'd, I win. It become a part of her power. Outlet, it won't be. It won't be. Do this but for me. I'm sitting back. But It'll that's be, always a team fight. Just go over there. Prometheus, go over there. Set up some shit and then fire off. But that's always a team fight. Because Chopper tells Usopp what things to do. All right. In Alabaster, always a team fight. Now we never get It's on her command. Game. So, it's using her intelligence and her wits to win. It's not like. But there's, uh, you're not getting it, because there's other people involved, and it sullies her ability. If you think so, Christian. Because I don't think she needs it. Sure, she doesn't need it, apparently. We're taking Zeus away, so Big Bob can't fly around Wano. If you think so. And instantly fly Luffy. Well, she doesn't need to fly in Elbaf. That'd be a problem. Maybe Zeus dies. And uh, she'll be out of the story after Elbaf, for sure. So yeah. she's going to keep those homies. I mean... That's my theory, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't like it, but put she's it in the comments section quote unquote out of the story. I don't story. even know what Christian's upset she's about. She's quote unquote out of the story. Her ability goes away. What do you mean, uh, I don't know that? what happens to homies when she dies. There's still uh, individual souls and things. <laughs> we don't know. Okay. So we'll have to see. We talked about Nami for a good 20 minutes because Christian's obsessed because I'm thinking this Nami disrespect. I'm not disrespecting you. Disrespectful. I don't, I don't see the disrespect. Disrespectful. Kind of I think I, I think I see Cracker in this shot. Christian it's unclear. It's it's ma- it's a big baby. I don't know. It's a big baby. I think I see Cracker there. I put a post it on Twitter. People can't apparently read drawings. That's their fault, you know. No, oh, don't even start me on reading drawings. There's clearly a, a shoulder pad. A, sh- uh, a neck area and a head. It looks weird. It could be, it could be, it couldn't be. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah it's 50 feet. I don't know. I expect him to be. I, I, I expect maybe. him to, to come. I think I see him there. Maybe he is there, maybe he isn't. But that's not the point. They climbed the waterfall. Kano is real sweaty now. <gasps> real sweaty. Yeah, she brought her barrels. It's going to be a full out. Oh, I don't have time for this shit. We're not prepared. Kano, 
I thought he was the strongest person I in the world. I thought he was fearless, Christian. Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, Christian, it's a character 180, apparently. Oh, crazy. He wants a war, but not with a big mom. Oh. Christian, he's sweaty because he doesn't have his full forces there. Exactly. He wants to win the war. Yes. He doesn't want to lose the war. Otherwise, he'll just draw up to a marine fort. Although, he could probably solo a marine fort. So that's a bad example. It's all a marine fort, Christian. Surely he would stroll into Shanks' territory if he wants to die. Yeah. But, alas, he hasn't done it. He wants to win this war. He wants a glorious death, Christian. He wants glory. Right? They climb the waterfall. They're almost up there. But then King comes in, kicks the ship. It is a kick. Can I actually see it in the official? Barely. Barely, but it's a kick. And they say it's a kick. Yeah. So, Big Mom's ship goes tumbling down the People waterfall. People are mad that, like, Big Mom pirates didn't do anything, but what are you supposed to do? Ship's in midair. It's Ship's a... in midair, and he's under the ship. It's a... Directly under the it's ship. It's a vulnerable position to be in. Definitely vulnerable. Uh, the, the, the ship has capsized, and Big Mom falls into the ocean. Whatever. She's going to come back. King is a... Pterodactyl. Ter- Pterodactyl. A big aerodactyl. A big pterodactyl. Fuck. Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl. Now, what was with the feather wings? Oh, we will never he's, know. He's a Bilkin, he's a Skypean. But give him the feather wings in the form. I don't know, Christian, what's going on. The wings people, have disappeared. People are upset with King, by the way, now. Why? He looks shit, he was lame. I mean, Otis it's, trash. It's the animal form. Some people hyped because hey, he's not some, all edge. Some flavor. He's not all edge. I like people some, are hyped. I like flavor, Christian. Some people are hyped. Makes sense why Oda did that design because he's better designed in his animal form than he is. And his the hybrid's form. coming. The hybrid's coming. Oh, it's gonna look silly, Christian. It's gonna cool. look good with that hat, though. Exactly. It's gonna look good with his outfit. Or just think in the long game. So big bumps in the water. Sure. That's the way it is. They think they win. Now I'm thinking Carter's gonna stick there for a while. Just to make sure, Christian. Just to lift it. Now, but for the people out there who want to fight me, this is a different waterfall than Luffy's waterfall. Right? Okay. Completely different. Now, I brought up the stupid point that it could be high tide. Then I said that's incorrect. Because Christian. if you look on the left side of the waterfall, it kind of matches up to the first image. But it doesn't even match it completely. Sure, but yeah. There'd have to be more rocks on Luffy's thing. Jutting out of Big Mom. All I'm saying is... Now, if no, one, if no one looked at the original and just guessed what waterfall... Sure. I- I'm saying you're probably right. It's a different waterfall. But it's, it's a possibility right? no so one's paying attention. Multiple okay, waterfall okay. entrances in Tawano. This one, this one apparently patrolled. No, it's, uh, I think it's closer to Onigasha, that's why. But they knew she was coming that, in that direction. Sure. They knew she was coming, so they planned... Does Kaido know that he's a dragon and can shoot lasers? You know, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna command, command his the troops. Yeah. All right, he's he's the general. All right, all right. Just just putting it out there. It's a good point, but there you go. All right, now we move over to the Thal capital. Sergeant so Usual Frankie Law running. Uh, Law doesn't want a man heart because you know why. <gasps> he's sweaty. He's always sweaty. He's sweaty. Law, you got 10 days to the fight. You can heal, my man. All right. You're a Law doctor. doesn't want them to spill the beans if they're caught. Didn't his armor heal in like two days? Yeah, but had the man cherry uh. shit. So I guess that's magical. Bandages heal all. Frankie wants to cover his face and fight. Frankie, a luchador form incoming? Perhaps. We'll talk about, Perhaps. We'll talk about forms in a minute, Christian. Law wants a clean victory if they're going to fight. 100% victory. You need 100%. You need the perfect. It needs to be quick. It needs the perfect victory if they want to win, if they want to fight. Law, you're fucking overpowered. What are you talking about? But he's the smallest man on the planet. He is. You could just cut the... You could just be like, eh. Let's cut him in half a run. Using his powers. Change his emotional state with a, with a, one of the goons in the city. Change his... Switch, switch his soul. Yeah. With a goon. With a random... Civilian. Law doesn't have that ability anymore. Though. Nah, he only, he only used the ones. You know. You only use it for a gag. Uso baits Saji to protect him. Pretty funny gag. Yep. If I get caught, I'm going to spill the beans. Saji's like, fine. Alright. Page one is messing up the town looking for Saji. Smashing up shops. Chomping on restaurants. Yeah. He's rampaging. Saji. Where's the sober chef? 
Where is he? Come out, face your crime. Sanji comes out. Kicks Google page one in the page head. One. Now, is there hockey seal on this leg? Maybe. I can't see it. Maybe. Who knows, Chris? One leg right? is very white, one leg a little bit little dark. So is that hockey? Is that drawing shit? Because he's not wearing pants, as we said multiple we times. We know. So is that Sanji first sighting of Armament with hockey? We don't know. We don't know. Page one reports. That a dude's here. That a dude's here. So, you know, page one doesn't seem damaged. Interesting. He's shook by that kick, though. Sure, he's, he, he got hurt by it. Yeah. But he's not, he's not... He's an agent zone. You're going to need more firepower if you want to take him out. We're going to need oh, something. to see more firepower. Sanji is going to use the raid suit to hide his identity. People say this isn't it, a point or wrong. That's what the point is. It could be... Let's go. The official's weird because it could be implied... That he's not going to find out his identity because he's going to beat him so quickly. But, regardless... He's using it because he needs to get this job yeah, done. Yeah, Christian. Sanji fight index. 90%. Highest it's ever been. Come on, Oda, you got to give us a fight. Not, I'm going 95%. You're 95, I'm going 90% because, you know, Oda likes to troll. But, 90%. It's good. Now, Sanji using, using the, the raid suit. Do you have issues with this, Christian? In terms of emotional state of Sanji. Look, we've, we've said this before, but I said I want Sanji to use the suit to, to benefit the crew. He's doing that here. Is that... We want it... Do we want a it? moment. I wanted a moment. Yeah, we wanted a moment. I wanted, like, a desperate moment where Sanji has to realise that he's going to put his thing... He's but has he put behind his, himself. But has he done that already? But he's done it off panel. Can we see... Because last time we saw him talk about the suit, yeah. he was upset and he didn't want to use it. Do you, now he's fine with using it. Do you, he got over an off panel. Do is, you think... Yeah. We will get some thought from Sanji next chapter about the raid suit. And about how he feels about it. In some way. Maybe. I hope we do, because... We need that moment from Sanji. Because it was a big pop point in the whole call, his family and how he felt about him. He told, he despises he, he, he them. told Josh to fuck off. Yeah, but now he's using his technology. Yeah. Now, it's, I get it. It's to benefit the crew, which we, which we said is fine. Yeah. Because that, you know, puts Sanji's beliefs. But we beliefs. want a little bit more from Oda. I wanted a moment. A character moment for Sanji. Has to do it for his real brother Zoro. Has to do it, has to do it for his crew. Because sure. he's all in. But hey, he's doing that here. But it's not, it's not a big moment. Confident Sanji returns. That's right. Hype Sanji returns. Sanji returns. He's back to his glory days now, of pre-time. Thumbnail shit. is what I think he's going to look like. What I hope he's going to look like. I doubt he's going to look like that. But we, oh, that's what I think. Black, black or yellow? Black cape. Christian. Black cape, sure. Yellow suit. Yellow suit. Uh, Captain Falcon helmet. My assumption on how he's going to hide his face. Similar to the Mr. Saiyan helmet, very common in Japan for that design of, yes. a, of a superhero helmet. Sure. Uh, it's not going to be his fucking jail prison helmet that he wore as a child. That would be a fucking troll. That's, uh... Well, I don't know. That would be fucked up. I don't that's know. fucked up. Alright. Uh, it's probably not going to be a gag. Oda's using this to hype Sanji up. Give us a little taste of what the race suit can do, so when he's in a real fight, mm. he's going to use it, and we have a little taste. Or he's not going to use it because he doesn't need it and he's going to use whatever other power-up he has. I think he's going to start the fight slow. Whatever. He's going to use it on, on Queen or whatever. Because the emotional moment's gone, so why would he use it on Queen? You know what I mean? Well, he has to use it. That's the theory. Because he needs to use it to actually get the power from the suit. To defeat, he can't defeat Queen by But himself. I think it would be better if he uses it here, he knows what it does, and he's like, nah, I would have beat it without it because I don't need it. That's... that's it's better for the themes of the whole case. Does justify him beating Queen if he does? I've said do this that. before. Even with Raid Suit, it doesn't make any sense. I th Christian, we'll see how strong the Raid Suit is. Sure. Because we don't know how strong sure. the, we don't know how strong Jerry is without the Raid Suits. That's a problem. Sure, but like even if because Queen, if it doubles his power, it justifies him beating Queen. It took Nami and Luffy to beat Cracker. Yeah. Now say what you want about the homies and all that kind of shit. Took Nami. Say what you want about ability sets. 
uh, you know, counters to sort of things, yeah. blah, blah, blah. It took Nami and Luffy to beat. Do you feel Kaka. like Queen and King and, J- and Jack are just going to be straightforward fights? Like, kick, punch. Sure, but that means they have to have insane strength and insane durability to make up for the insane utility of utility the, of the Big Mom Pirates. So, a straight-up fight is worse off for these characters. It's worse off for them. Because Sanji fighting at Hawkeye Guard is a massive, is a massive Question. advantage yep. because of the cooking skills. Sure. Yeah, what he, Oda can do whatever he wants there. Maybe Queen's uh, some kind of crustacean and he uses his cooking skills, Christian. To, to, uh, to fry cook, him up. To cook to him. To boil him sure. alive. Who knows? Anyway, we expect this to be a quick brutality from Sanji. Bruno-like fight. Yeah. Beating the shit Showing out. the power. That's what I think it's going to be. Couple of kicks. And some, people, sure. think, not, some people think Sanji's not going to use the suit and I think they're wrong. Because why put this at it's the end? It's teed up. It's going to be most of the next chapter. Unless King comes in. And oh, by the, the way, cursor. we're on break again. Oh, Oda, you're killing us. You get nothing. You lose. In Bell Down next week, I guess. In Bell Down. We're going to have to give you In Bell Down because we can't give you the chapter. We can't give you the Sanji fight. We want to give you it. We've been waiting for the entire time a bit we've long. been putting out this podcast. Yeah. We're going to get it, though. We're finally... The meme is finally going to pay off. Yeah. Sanji fight actually happening, which is crazy. Actual feats to argue. That's crazy. We're here. We're here. We're finally here. But we've got to wait. All right. We're going to talk about Big Mom and talk about the show and what it means. It means m- many a things. things. It means a, it's, it's crucial to this arc and the, the future. It's kind of a turning point. It's a turning point. Yeah. And shocking that it's this early. Yeah. Now. Definitely. Will this Sanji thing with the red suit turn into a hero gag in the Wano arc, similar to Mr. Prince? Where it's going to be Captain Sangoro. Captain Sangoro. And he's got his goons with him, which is going to be Fronosuke. Maybe Law. Soki King. Re- reluctant, Soki King Returns. Soki King Returns. The, re- the reluctant Law has to play along. Basket Man, maybe. Basket Man Law. And we have Sanji's crew under the Captain Sanji banner. But there's still a manhunt going to go on for him. Sure, but then they can hide in their normal forms. When they need to. Which okay, is maybe. But the whole situation is weird. Because, like, they know they fucking Lord there. Hawkins know who they are, so... Oh, they don't know that the whole crew's here. That's some, cra- that's some, that's some, that's some shaky logic. Unless, like, kids' crew's not there, and they're, they're assuming that Luffy's crew didn't follow him. That's insane logic. So... The captain's here, why isn't the whole crew here? Yeah. You know, but it's a... You know, it's a sister... It's one piece logic. Now, expectations on this fight. We're obviously, double page you. spread of Sanji with the suit on. Oh, obviously. That's with, obvious. With German 66, fucking Vince Smoke Sanji superhero title. What if it's just like... Straw Oda's ha- taking a week break to draw... What if it's not German 66? What if it's Straw, straw Hat... Pirate. Pirate. Straw Hat Pirate Hero or something. Yeah. We'll have to see. It brings up meta questions. Sure. But, you know. But here's the thing. I already said it. Bluto esque fight. Destroy page one. Only problem is we don't know how strong page one is. Yeah. That's the only fucking problem. We don't know problem. how strong Sanji is. So we, you know. He's a six strong headliner and he includes Drake in that batch. So, you know, whatever. So I think Oda telling us a fact and not showing us a fact. You know what I mean? Sure. Because we don't know how strong Drake is, we don't know how strong Hawkers is. So, what does this stat even mean? We're going to have to wait and see, Christian. Definitely. Now, ratings? Hype coming. Sure. I expect, uh, we'll, give, we'll give ratings. Uh, 8 out of 10 chapter. Good good chapter. Art, a little shaky. Yeah, we're going to get a shake with the art. Uh, Christmas, New Year's rush. Whatever you want to make. Oh, no, a little, little shaky with the art. Some places It's just beautiful. Kaido. It's just Kaido at wide range. Looking weird. How big is Kaido? Just his face looks weird. When it's wide, when he's when it's like full body shot, it looks just too much, too many lines. Yeah, but how big is Kaido? You know what I mean? No one knows how big Kaido is. Oda doesn't know how big Kaido is. Apparently, he's uh, about category height. It's fine, 
but why would you show him to be 10,000 feet tall when he was introduced? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Would like to see new designs for the whole Cake Island members, but for the Big Mud Pirates, but you know, we get what we get. Sure. I'm going to give it a eight and a half, perhaps. Eight and a half? Extra five points for the importance of the chapter. It's an important chapter, but, you know, we get the whole Zoro it's thing. It's a fun time. Fun time chapter. Sure. Weird Zoro thing at the front. That's some kind of message. How sure. How you interpret that message? Sure. Predictions, Sanji fight. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. We don't need anything else. Let's get the Sanji fight. Okay? All right. Are we ready for Topic of the Show? Ready for House Talk of Shanks. And then Topic of the Show? Yes. Oh. How strong is Shanks? Every week, we come to you with the question of how strong is Shanks? And every week, we answer Shanks is the strongest. Shanks is the god king. But there are people out there who think Kano's the strongest. Who think Drag is the strongest. Who think I'm is the strongest? Never talk about I'm on this show. As you think, the sweatiest man alive, Akari is the strongest. But they're wrong, because Shanks is the strongest. Didn't fight Shanks. And every week, we come with 100% factual information. This week's factual information Shanks would simply walk up. This waterfall and enter Wano with no problems. As we know, he can walk on water. Shanks is the strongest. Shanks is the Goki. Indeed. Now, topic of the show. <sighs> Christian. Big Mum and Wano right now, massive. If you think this isn't consequential, it's massive. It's huge. Big Mama. Dare I say biggest event in Wano so far? Okay. Do you agree? Event as in something happening, like, because, like, kind of turning up as an event, but does it affect the people? I mean, okay, yeah, I'll agree. Biggest event. All right. By far. Yeah, I have give, a few questions. Give us your questions, we'll answer them. Does Big Mom go down in Wano? Absolutely not. There are guests coming up in February, I believe so. So we'll have to talk to him about that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Smart man, you might have to bring your points, Christian. Oh, I'll bring the points. Right. I'll bring the points. You'll bring the points. But for the points right now, why does Big Mom's story end in a place where it means nothing for her. That's the question. Why? Is, that's the biggest question. Sure, you can wrap up the plot points of Mother Caramel other ways. Sure. But why does she die in a place where it does not matter? She needs to die where it started. She needs to die in a place where it matters to the people. Full so her f defeat means something. Where it matters to her, even. Because if, if there's a fight with Luffy and she goes down... It's two action figures slapping together. It's hype. It's cool. Means nothing. Remember what Luffy said as well. I'll be Kaido. I'll, I'll be, be you. you. Now, if Kaido goes down first and then Big Mom goes down, does that suck away all the hype from Kaido? It's unimaginable how it's, that turns uh, out. I think it sucks all the way, sucks all the hype out of Akainu. Of Akainu? What's Akainu going to do then? I mean, Kaido. I mean, the most sweaty. Oh, I yeah. got confused for a second. <laughs> Who's sweatier? Who's sweatier? Akainu for sure. Akainu. Sweatiest man alive. So. Who's sweatier? Sengoku or uh, Akainu? Akainu for sure. Alright. Sengoku knows the majesty of Shanks. He does. And he's like, I There's respect this man. Do. He does. He's a sweaty bad man. He respects the man. He's sweaty a lot when we cut to him when, we, when he's a uh, flight admiral. Sure, but that's that's the pressure of the job. And okay, right. he's just not even—he's not even vice admiral. He's not even 
Fleet Admiral in Marineford, and he's freaking out. And he's freaking out as a Fleet, as fleet Admiral now, so... So, he's the sweetest he's man sweet. on the planet. Anyway... I don't think BMO gets defeated in a while. Because by who? Luffy back-to-back victory? Unless we have another Emperor join. The fuck? Luffy back-to-back victory? You know, people... It can't be Big Mum and Kaido at the same time versus Luffy's alliance. Unless... Because it's stupid. Unless we're massively over underestimating the Sulong Mink. You're talking about like... Massively underestimating him. You two are saying Neko and Inu can take on Emperor and then the subordinates can take on the crew. That's a theory. That's what I'm saying. It's a possibility. Too long is hyped up. It is hyped up. But to the moon? I don't know. Are we underestimating it? We might be. Because we saw the, the multiplier it had on Carrot. Yeah. Multiplier Neko, Rushi, and Arashi. It has to be significant, Christian. It has to be yeah, very significant. It's so, a limited time use. Stamina thing. But you know they have... Stabbing to go all night. It's gonna, right. it's gonna be so good. Highlight of the arc for sure. Alright, so does Big Mom go down? I don't I can't see it. I can't see it happening. Unless no, because she has to go down an Elbath. And this is assuming there is even an Elbath arc. That's like two hundred chapters of Big Mom though. In back to back. What's wrong with Big Mom? Alright. Alright. Is Katakuri watching the fight in Elbath? Kaku's helping. With his arms crossed, being like, yes. Kaku's helping. Helping? Luffy needs a 1v1 Big Mom. 1v1 Big Mom. Sure. Now that's. We team crazy. Kaido. Let's, let's just 1v1. The only 1v1 Emperor is Blackbeard, and you know that. Alright. Alright, that's the only 1v1 Emperor. Blackbeard. Alright, now. So we established Big Mom's not going down. We think, anyway. I just can't see it. It's so inconceivable. Are you going to lock that in or are you going to be like subject to change depending on what I'm happens? I'm locking now? it in. He's locking it in. I'm locking it in. I'm, I'm so ready. Convinced. I'm ready to cop the L. All right. Krush is not right on the fence this time. I'm not right on the fence. Big Mom not going down. All right. Because I, I find it inconceivable that you would die in a place where it means nothing. All right. Now, All right? let's go through the rest of the points. Does she ally with Kaido? I think so. You think so. Okay. Break it down for me. How does this My happen? thoughts on Big Mom being here this early okay. is to delay Kaido and his subordinates from getting involved in Luffy's endeavors okay. before the Fire Festival. The Fire Festival can't happen if Big Mom and Kaido are fighting. Good point. It can't happen. How, how are they going to throw a festival now, when I there's a war going out? I think they're going to be like, whatever. They're going to be friends because of the past, right? The Rocks. It's going to be an the- uneasy alliance, as it were. Sure, the rocks. Uh... I think she, her being here, mm. allows us to deliver Carter's backstory and the rocks plot and their link together. Yeah. While the Straw Hats build their army. Now, if they actually make an alliance, does this force the Marines' hand? They can't let this happen. It, if if the alliance happens, a third party has to get involved to specifically help Luffy. The navy. Because the distraction of the navy doesn't. That Big Mom and Kaido don't give a fuck. They want to kill Luffy. It has to be a direct alliance to Luffy and helping him. Garp. We're talking Garp. We're talking maybe Shanks. Here's the thing. I'm pulling the Shanks card. Who knows better? Who knows better about Kaido and Big Mom than the man himself, Garp, who fought them? He fought them. Now, is Garp ready to take on an Emperor, Christian? No. All right. He's going to lead the troops and he's going to make the alliance with Luffy because he's his grandson. And he knows. That's, a, that's, a possibility. that's the first time we've heard that theory. Let's throw it in there. Let's throw it in there. Garp comes in with a fleet, with admirals. He's in charge of this operation, because he knows. We need someone to distract either Emperor, probably Big Mom. And it needs to be an alliance with Luffy, because if, um, if it's the Navy being like, you have to stop Kaido and Big Mom, Kaido's just going to be like, get out of the way. It's going to be like Don Chin Chao. And Luffy, well, Luffy when Don and uh, and Hideo uh, get, get knocked, knocked away. Off. Get out of here! I'm not interested in you. But if it's like you have to be, you have to get through me to get to Luffy. Yeah. Then we're interested. That's true. All right. So we need we need if Big Mom and Kaido are lie, we need alliances. It needs we need we need, a, we need Shanks or, or Garp and his Marine buddies. Sure. Uh, maybe Garp, Kuzan. Oh shit! We're getting the uh, Blackbeard bin. Or the entire Navy force destruction, which would be a little bit disappointing. 
What do you mean disappointing? Because it's like, all right, she's distracted, and then they, what, she's not really in the arc? I mean, she said she would chase him to the ends of the earth. Yeah. And she's, she's chasing him. All right. Next possibility. Big Mom aligns with Luffy. Hardest one to solve plot-wise on how this happens. Now, my, of course. My, we've I will, said this I will argue, times. I will admit that mine is the hardest to solve uh, in terms of combat. Sure. This is the hardest one to solve in terms of plot here we points. go, here we go, here we go. We can't forget that she does not know Sanji made the wedding cake. What the straw has did for her. If she becomes an alliance, that means she's not getting defeated in our birth. I will mind you. Something else could happen when Which she gets pisses pissed off, off again. What would you argue what would you say the point of them Kaido and Big Mom being angry at Luffy? Or just raising the stakes to a high degree. Definitely. We've Definitely had happening. one emperor, now we've got two. Sure. He said Marine Four would look like a joke compared to this arc. I mean, he's, he's proven it. We've got two emperors and we've, we've got, got Luffy emperors, we've got Luffy's lions. A bunch of supernovas. Sure. Does the rest of the warlords get on the action? Does Mihawk turn up? She goes on Luffy's side. Here we go, that's a strong ally. What if Mihawk's one of the side That's crazy, though. Do you think about that? No. What if Boa turns up because Luffy needs help? Then we all the super, all the, has, all our alliances come in. Who has Luffy's favorite card? The alliance, obviously. The alliance. The Straw Hat alliance. Zabo doesn't. Or Zabo does. Zabo does. Could we have the revolutionaries coming and help? They got their hands full. They do. They got their hands full right now. But Zabo says that Zabo sees Luffy in danger. He might turn up. Can it convince? Ivankov's in. We know Ivankov's in, we know Zabo's in. Will it convince Dragon? We know Dragon doesn't give a fuck. He's gonna, there's a lot of but, men but fighting an Emperor. Don't forget about the CP0 plot and the weapons. Sure. This could get the revolutionaries in. Alright. Because it's, it's the weapons factory where the, where the government's stocking up weapons for this big war. They don't want that war to so happen. So Dragon and the revolutionaries versus Big Mom. Zabo versus Katakuri. Why is Katakuri at, uh, on Big Mom's side? You kind of curry. He's not gonna be on. He's joining side. the crew. All right, me aside, kind of curry. Not seen on the ship. Where Shroom is there? You could assume he's there, but and is he, he there? Cushion, if he's not there, you gonna be mad, or you gonna be like, nah, he's definitely left the crew now. It's gonna be a sad time. And if he's not there, he's left the no crew. No brulee because it's too confusing. Yeah, it's too confusing. And who repaired the mirror world? Does it repair itself? All these questions. All these questions. All these questions. But if Katakuri's not there, he's no. left the crew, and he's on his own adventure in Wano. Maybe he's maybe he broke maybe that's Jinbei. The cover story. Maybe he broke Jinbei. Out. By the way, where's Jinbei here? Because he should be able to and beat Jirma. Big Mom here. And Jerma. Maybe Katakuri broke Jinbei out of prison, and they're going to join the crew at the same time. Think about that. What do you think's more likely? Revolutionaries helping Luffy or Shanks helping Luffy? Because revolutionaries have an in with the weapons. That's what I'm saying. Revolutionaries already have an in. Does Shanks have an in? Shanks did say Luffy we're going to meet soon. Sure. And remember, 907, Christian. All four emperors on one page. Perhaps an all four emperor confrontation. Maybe Shanks was talking about Big Mom to the Gorosei. Being like, she's going to cause some fucking havoc. Yeah. Let me talk to you about a certain pirate, Straw Hat Luffy, who's going to turn the world upside down, and you better stop Big Mama Kaido, or you'll have a cataclysm happen. Perhaps that. Perhaps he's talking about Big Mom. We don't know. Going on a rampage to the world. The alliance with... the there's Does Black Big Mom alliance... Does Blackbeard get involved against Big Mom? I think Blackbeard will turn up. He has it in. He knows about the situation. Moria is there. Moria is there. Moria's connections to Wano. It's it's there's a sequence of events when they get there. How they get there. At the end, we assume. At the end, during the battle, towards the end of that uh, portion, maybe they could turn up now. Big Mom's here. Kind of turn uh, now. People Blackbeard people are saying oh. you know, uh, fucking Blackbeard should fight Hulk, take Hawkeye Island. My answer to you, Christian, if it's a World War Three, yep, and China 
of fighting the Russians. Yeah. Whatever. Would you, as the US, shoot Shanghai down? Or would you fight them at their home turf, where they are already fighting? You wouldn't invade Russia, because the like, Russia would be yeah, there. The, yeah. Let's assume that the Chinese are fighting the Russian in this new war, war, war Christian. Okay. The US want to get involved and take out both, let's say. Similar to the situation with Blackbeard. Okay. Blackbeard's the US in this uh, argument. Okay. Russia is is Kaido. China is Big Mom. Okay. China invades Russia. Russia. That parallel. Okay. Does the US now as Blackbeard, enemies to both nations, come in and destroy China and get the ire of their armies perhaps coming at them? Or do they fight them... At the battle. They let them weaken each other. They let them yes. fight, weaken each other, and then they sweep then in. Then they come in. Destroy both. They wouldn't gain the ire of another nation at the start of the battle. Yeah, but, you know, alliance or whatever. It doesn't... And also, you want to take out the force. You don't want to take out the, the land. The, the, the valuable property, as it were. That's a good point. I, I, yeah, but Blackbeard's fucking crazy, right? But also, I don't think it's in Blackbeard's character to do that. He wants power, dealt for it specifically. Okay. Does he give a fuck about territory? How is territory going to help him be the pirate king? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Sure. But he does want. He, he does want. He it. knows Big Mom is not going to get the. Def- do you know how hard it is to actually defeat emperors? He knows that Big Mom and Kaido aren't going to kill each other. I mean, does he know that? And it's going to be a fight regardless. Sure. So, I don't think... Like, we it's... all know... Ka- also, Beard. how would you do that? How would you draw that in the manga? If Blackbeard was simultaneously going after Whole Cake Island? I don't know. I just feel like Blackbeard's going to do this. You triggered my trap card! Yeah. He's going to turn up. He's going to pull some bullshit. We're still in the soul soul. And he's going to leave. We're still in fruits or we're just fucking about? He's going to fuck someone up and he's going to leave. Now... When they were talking about Poneglyph robbing his Christian, mm-hmm. is it my imagination or did they mention that Blackbeard's dealing in the underworld trying to get these Poneglyph robbings? That's your imagination. That's never been stated. I think it was in Zoe when they were talking about Poneglyph robbings specifically and that they're in the black market. They're in the black market, but we don't know if Blackbeard's looking for them. Sure. We just know they're in the black market. All right, so the Blackbeard thing is a fabrication in one mind. Yes. There, there, there has been there's you, many rubbings in the world. You'd assume that Blackbeard would be after the rubbings, not the poneglyphs, because it's too difficult to get the poneglyphs. Sure. Blackbeard's an opportunist, Christian. Sure. He's not going into enemy territory to get a poneglyph. No. There are other, uh, other options. Right. What's the other option? Big Mum just stays at the bay the entire time? Trying to go sure. up to the waterfall? Sure. Uh, call many of errors. Big Mum dies in the, in the water right now. Yeah, no, no, no chance. Right. That's happening. <laughs> All right. Next question. Is there another hunger rampage? Joy Boy brought this up on the Drift stream that I was in the other day. No. I'm going to fucking kill myself if there is. I'm just not going to repeat plot points. About. He showed us once. He showed us that it exists the showed first us twice, time. twice, Christian. No. That was to establish the thing. But he showed us twice the hunger rampage. Yeah, but not really because it was done in is one chapter. Is he going to show it us the third time? The first time was to establish it. The second time was an actual plot point. He's not going to make it another plot point. Oda doesn't do things four times. All right, another plot point with Big Mum on the Hunger Rampage? No. We need Big Mum, full power, unnerved, ready for action. Because it's time. It's time. All right? It's time. I can't see it happening. Because the Hunger Rampage is a very specific thing. It's not that she's hungry. Is that she was a very yeah, specific I it piece up of to item? Him and he said, "But her stomach is grumbling." I'm like, "Dude, sure, she's hungry, but she was she's so hungry." Very specific, that specific items, item. Not specifically hungry. She's chewing on shit and she's spitting it out. Yeah, it's not. She it wants has a croak and bush. Nothing to do. It has nothing to do. Maybe she wants a soba noodles, Christian. With her bit of sagi soba noodles, top tier, apparently. She wants. That kind of thing. So I don't see a hung, none of a hunger rampage happening. Does the happening. come into play at any point? And does pudding come into play oh my God. at any point? The pudding, the pudding theories are coming back that somehow it's going to reveal Mother Caramel's past. Or Struzan's going to tell Big Mom in this arc. 
Yeah, I've said it before. Even if her plot points people, are resolved... People who say Big Mom's going down here yeah. also agree that her plot points need to be resolved. I agree. That's not my problem. The problem is her death is going to be meaningless. Yeah. She's defeated in a place where it means nothing for the people. It means nothing to her. I don't think she's ever been to Wano. Maybe she has, maybe she hasn't. Who knows? But I don't think so. It means nothing. And I've said this before. It means nothing. If Big Mom goes down in Wano. Sure. It's just a high piece. That's a wasted character opportunity. Especially because we've seen so much of her. And we know her past. Exactly. So. Is it a three-sided war? That's the last option. It's. Big Mom fending off Kaido and Luffy. It Luffy can't be off. because they're both after. They both have a common goal. Which is Luffy. Sure, so but... So, therefore, it can be met. Sure, but people are saying that they you, there's evidence in this chapter that they hate each other. Be, kind of tried to kill Big yeah, Mom. Yeah, remember when Ino, Rashi, and Neko, Rui, hey, she hate each other? Yes, that's true, but a three-sided war, I think, is possible. It'd be way harder to manage. Luffy would be in a sandwich between two emperors. Yeah, but they'll distract each other, and then fucking other shit would happen, and then everyone's distracted, so then Luffy could do but shit. Is Luffy doing anything in that three-way fight? It's a three-sided war. It's a three... Like, they're not all fighting. But you'd imagine Kaido and Big Mom would run at each other because who's stopping them? No one. I don't know. It depends what they want to do. That's why I say. It's, it's hard to imagine a three-sided war because yes. it's really hard to pull off. It's possible. It's hard to pull off. And we're forgetting the fire festival, which should happen. Needs to happen. Big Mom has to be dealt with in some kind of way. Be that alliance, be that defeat before the fire festival. I don't think it's going to be defeat, but it's yet. Otherwise, the fire festival can't happen, and the whole plot with the fire getting festival the samurai to get goes down to the, the toilet, the and it was a waste of time. Waste of time. It's not even like the plan did work. Do you think the my alliance with Big Mom and Kaido is the most optimal route in terms of plot? Yes, but it still has big questions. Well, these all have big questions. Sure, sure. it does. Yeah. Yeah. I like it because we can we can deliver important plot to both. The Rocks flashback, we can, maybe? And their relationship and what Big Mom owes Kaido, which people forget about. Or what Kaido owes Big Mom. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we can deliver that while the Straw Hats kind of gather their stuff. Sure. Which will be interesting to cut back and forth between. Definitely do. Like, I can't... Because where else are we going to deliver, deliver the Kaido? Unless Big, at least Big Mom's delayed for a week because she can't get up this waterfall. Yeah, I don't know. But the ship's capsized, so maybe Big Mom separated from her crew. I assume we're going to get a few more gags of her trying to get up the waterfall. Sure. Uh, or she just leaps it. Or she gets a candy slug. Candy slug. I don't think she can leap it. It's pretty high. Just Goku up the side of the mountain. Just, just keep on jumping. Up it. Just run up just it. Keep on jumping on the little ledges. There's ledges everywhere. Alright. It's not a sheer face. I've got to be kilometers. They're big, what, they're like kilometers. Do you know how big Big Mom's ship is? It's big. I don't know about it. It might be long like long. half a kilometer long. Are we talking so big? Or are we talking... Because Zoe's in the clouds. Why are in clouds? Yeah. So, I know it's above sea level. That's for sure. Who Huge. knows? Huge. And we still got Mad Fuji. Yep. To discover. And what the fuck's that about? What's so. your favorite option out of all these, Christian? Favorite option is the kind of Big Mom Alliance because we get the most out of it. And who is your favorite pick for allying with Luffy to take on Big Mom? We're talking we're talking, we're talking Garp, we're talking Revolutionaries, we're talking Shanks. Well, of course I want to see Shanks do something. Yes. Be involved. But the Revolutionaries have the in. Lu that's the problem. The Revolutionaries have the in. They're busy, though. They're busy right now. That could end. Also, the Marines have it in, because they need those weapons. And we're going to see Grimble interact with Big Mom. And we need to see... And they've already, they know about she's coming and all that kind of stuff. If they actually meet, and there's an alliance, the Marines have to do something. They can't just let that happen. What would they gain in stopping two Emperors fighting? Massive casualty and loss. No. Garp said it himself. If Big Mom and Kaido make an alliance... It's over. Yeah. They can't let it happen. And the hero returns, Christian, to break that alliance up again. I mean, Garp, top four, maybe Silvers is right. Uh -huh. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I think that's... I think we've talked about the implications. Massive, 
questions. What the questions are? Become clearer in the incoming weeks. Sure, but still, we're, Very, we're, we're, we're thinking about it. We are thinking about it. Maybe we'll come up with some more answers next week. Sure. What's the next question? Question corner. I think it's the power scale. Oh, power question. scale. Oh, the list. Power scale. Power scale. Now, people talking shit that King deserves to be on the power scale this week because he did something. No. Not, not yet. enough. Oh, we know where he's going to fit. It's not sure. It's not a question of where he's going to be. It's just not the time. It's just not interesting to talk about because we're just going to put him in a place without anything to talk about. Sure. What do you want to do? Who, who's going first? Who, should, who do you want to go first? Huh? What's the story? What do you want? Yama. Uh-huh. From Skypea. Robin fight. Robin fights him. Big dude. Big fat man. Big athletic fat man. Sure. He's got the kicks. He's got this. He's got I guess some he's kind of speed. A little bit. A uh, little bit of observation on him. Robin, too good. Uh, using his own body weight against him. Dials. Do I remember? Yes, he's got dials. I don't think he uses them that often. By memory. He's a uh, kind of like a fawny type of dude. He's a uh, yeah. He's a, he's a big dude. Big power. How far am I going? We could talk about maybe low or high low. That's what I'm thinking. Am I feeling the high low? Am I feeling CP members, Christian? Maybe not. But he does have the he has observation heart. He's a big body. He's a big body. He's got he's got martial arts skills, no talk doubt. Talk to me about Mr. One. We always bring up Mr. One. Mr. One, very one. hard fight for a lot of people. The dials might be able to do something. I guess okay. Mr. One, the reject. The flame dials. Sure. We don't know how Mr. White holds up against fire. The okay. fire melts steel, whatever. Yeah, Yama. Because he cops multiple hits. You know, he swings into the fucking wall. Yeah. He gets tripped over and shit. You know, Robert beats him pretty, pretty, pretty easily, I would, I would say. Does Toshiki beat Yama? Yeah. She got that speed. She got that sword. But he's got that. Uh, let's go low. Let's go low for Yawa. Because I don't think he has. He might be one, the of, the, one, he might be of, one of the more, more tougher opponents in low. Sure. He's, he's probably probably up there with Mr. One. Bon Clay, probably. He's probably around there. He is after Alabaster. Yep. So, you know, progression of power. But Robin's fighting, Christian. But so Robin's... Fighting him's all right, uh, are you disrespecting Robin? I'm just saying, Christian, the order of operations. Are uh, you disrespecting Robin? Uh, Clay, Eric disrespecting hey, all the uh, females. Robin did very well in that fight. Or destroyed Yama. Eric disrespecting... She was busy. And she destroyed him. Busy saving the... The ruins. The ruins. But Eric disrespecting the females once again. Uh, hey, man, I rate Robin. All right. Especially pre time skip Robin. I enjoy right? how there was a fucking 40 minute conversation about Nami in this chapter for no reason. You disrespected her. I had to come out. Right? You disrespected Nami. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to go low for Yama. Because he bodies Bobbins. All right. Uh, yeah, I think he beats Polly. He's that big body. He's got observation, kind of. I, th- I think he's around there. Yama from Skype here. I'm going to talk about the Cream Brothers. The Cream Brothers. Which one? Do Stanza. Do we do all three? No, we're not doing all three. It's not a bowl well, situation. Well, I don't remember which one does what. All right. Cream Brothers. The two that fight Luffy in the war. But there's four of them. There's three of them. There's four. Well, opera, what we, we say? No, bar opera. There's three, I looked it up. There's three, you looked it up. Yeah, there's three, and then Opera's the uh, eldest, which is, which makes four. But the Cream Brothers, the two, it's Costanza. It's not Costanza, but... It's Stanza... Stanza... Oh. The ones that fight Sonnet, Luffy, yeah. that Haki punch him in the head. Yes, the Cream Those Brothers. Two. Are we doing both of them together? The Cream Brothers. All right, the Cream Brothers. We did the Boa Sisters, let's do the Cream Brothers. Yep. I'm a bit Haki confirmed. Power. Yes. Power to knock out Speed Luffy. even. Maybe. 
they're impressive to a certain point. Part of the Big Mom Pirates. Can we talk characters. about high mid or are we crazy enough to go low high? You're insane going low high for these Cream Brothers. The Cream Brothers? Yeah, it's a bit much. It's a bit much, if you're asking me. Yes. Do I, you, do I, do I see... High mid? Maybe mid? Maybe mid? Christian, they got big hockey gains. Sure, they have armament. Yeah. They get choked out. One of them gets choked out by Luffy. Sure. But they got physical power, they got a little speed. Sure, maybe. But they're a little... little there's nothing really to say about them. They can cop hits a bit from Luffy. They get up. Let's say... There's two of them. I think EGG destroys them. With his rage suit. Okay. Lasers, crazy shit going on. Talk to me about... Pedro. Pedro. Pedro Pedro's fighting Tomago. Talk to me about Kiros. Talk to me about... Enru. Enru destroys him. Capone? Capone beats him. What are you talking about? Don't even talk to me about Capone. He should be a tier higher. What? Fucking Drich disrespecting Capone. Okay. Kaku? Sippy Zero Kaku. Okay. Crazy. What about mid tier, Christian? We're talking about Holy Jones. Because we got Norman? Treble, we got Diamante, we got Judge. I'm thinking mid tier. They don't show me, they don't have X Factor abilities. They got a little hockey, they got a little strength. Do you back in Brook to beat him? Yes, I would back Brook to beat him. But I would back Brook to beat him. But Diamante, you back Diamante in. Hard to back Diamante yeah, in. It's really hard to back Diamante in, but he's got he's got decent sword slashes. He gets one shot. By a sword. By a Kiros. But let's not forget that Kiros is a weapon. Okay. Uh, people want to forget that. Does Kiros fucking, is a weapon. Does Diamante even have Haki? No. What the That's the problem. What's going on with the Domenico crew? That's weird. Why does... Domenico is so broken. Why does... Don't Pika have full body armament, but Diamante, no Haki. No Haki to be seen. Treble, no Haki. What's going on? Could you argue observation with Treble? You, yeah, stuff? you could argue that, but let's not get into that. We're Treble here, Christian. No, but I can go middle. We're going to have to go middle, because we got Dive Flamingo executives in there. Caesar, even. I think Caesar beats them. They, they don't have the X Factor. They're just big dudes. They're just big dudes with a little bit of heart, a little bit of strength, a little bit of speed. It is fun. Mid-tier. They do knock out Luffy, but he's... Beat in a lot of punishment. He's four fucking cracker. Uh, Sanji, Sanji beat, beat his head in. in. So, is that a real feat? Maybe. The Kree Brothers, mid tier. Kree Brothers, mid tier. There. Yama, low tier. Alright. Question yeah. corner. Question corner. From Return the Slab, he returns. All these breaks are killing me. Yeah. Yeah. Brutal. Question. What post time skip characters would you most like, most have liked to run into the Shrine Pirates pre time skip and when would you have liked them to meet? That's a strange question. Can we talk about Joba? Joba pre time skip. Give us a little bit more flavor for Sanji, perhaps? Sure. And would it actually be there a real fight? would have been fight? a threat. Yeah, there would have been a threat. There would have actually been a threat yeah. on the Grand Line. Could have been a, could have been our entire arc maybe about fighting the Germa. Sure, yeah, I think that's a good answer. I mean, people want to bring up Holy Jones, but like Fishman Island is the end of the journey, so like maybe they could have gone to a New World, got defeated, and then come back and trained. By who, Hody? No, like they 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 de defeat Hody, go to New World, get defeated, push back, fight Rayleigh. Whatever. Okay. It's weird, but yeah. Weird circumstances, but Hody is not really a, an impressive villain. Like he he would I fit. I think Joba's my answer. Joba would be interesting. Because they said they go to Fishman Island so many times they and they get distracted. Uh, fucking a lot. So Fishman Island, I think that's a possibility. It's an interesting question. Yeah, Fish, maybe that. Uh, maybe some of that. There we go. All right, it's a hard question. From Abu Seal. By the way, my name is Pat Abu Asil. 
Okay. Abu was seal. Question. I believe Bob was dealing through works on Luffy if she physically touches him. During the rainfall versus the fast fishes, she kicked and made contact with them in the heat in the head and turned them to stone. So theory, theoretically Bob could turn Luffy to stone if she touches them. What do you guys think? Yeah, she turned snails to stone. I guess. Can objects resist Bowser Lua Christian? I mean, are pacifists straight robots or are they cyborgs? I think they're straight robots. What kind of intelligence do they have? AI? Well, let's not get into that. It seems just like robots. I think I think he's on the money because like, then did Mushi get? I have to stone. read more into Boas, even though we just read it. You know what I mean? That's that's the Marineford stuff. Yeah, which is kicking pacifistas. Yeah, I'll I'll give it to him. I yeah. think that's a possibility. Yeah. Another question: Kizaru versus Fujitora. Who wins? Keep in mind that gravity can bend light. Now, a lot of gravity can bend light. Can Fujitora generate that kind of gravity? We're talking black hole level gravity. Yeah, but like... To yeah. actually mean something. But don't bring in the real world physics. Well, he's bringing in real world physics. He's bringing in real world, real world physics. What do you think? Does <sighs> does Kizaru have the firepower to take out Fujitora? I mean, Luffy kind of maybe does. We saw him get pushed back by... Kicks. I don't know. We've got lasers. we got lasers. But Fujitora has but the observation. Fujitora. And... The gravity stuff. But let's not forget... And the sword skills. Let's not forget Kizaru's made of light. And is a low gear. And that is stupid. And that is stupid and broken. So we're going to have to give that to Kizaru. Right. Even though, yes, gravity can bend light, but it's a lot of gravity. Can Fujitora generate black hole levels of gravity? Probably not, because it would break the world. Might yeah. Might be some anime bullshit, but we'll have to wait and see, yeah. you know? Cool. Another question. Is this the same guy? Same dude. Okay. Baby Five has done through that it, uh, it eventually allows her to turn into any weapon. I hate this devil fruit ability with a passion because how does the devil fruit differenti differenti differentiate between weapons humans consider to be weapons and everyday objects? For example, Baby Five could turn into a pistol, which is a weapon, but she can also turn into a rock, which can also be used as a weapon, but technically isn't. Many things that are weapons can be used as weapons. Does Baby Five have a broken ability or does Oda messed up? Or he doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. We have the train train fruit, Christian. This devil fruit is stupid. It makes no sense. I've talked about this before. Just like many of them. It annoys me. A lot of devil fruits that don't make no sense. It's a, it's a manga and the dumb makes no sense. All right. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, she can turn herself into a Gatling gun, a sword. How, how, does, how do these devil fruits know what these concepts are? Maybe she can manipulate... Oh, the intent of the of the object, Christian, is deadly. Therefore, it's a weapon. Maybe whatever is in her mind as a weapon is what she can transform into. Therefore, she can transform into anything. It's a dumb devil fruit. It's a problem. But when you think about level devil fruits, there's problems. Yeah. So. That's true, dude. Like, the train fruit's a problem because, like, how does a devil fruit... How does a magical item know what a fucking train is? When did these things were created? Are, the, are new ones popping up based on new inventions? Jack Jack Fruit. Jack Jack Fruit's crazy. A lot of stupid devil fruits. It is it's kind of a problem, but we're just going to have to get over that because it's, it's One Piece logic. <sighs> All right. From Muzi Mustaf. What possible power-ups could Luffy get to push him past or to Emperor level? What growth is left for him? He needs physical and he needs stamina. That's all he needs. Now, well, a lot of people want to bring an awakening. Sure, he can have awakening, but I don't think that's going to solve the problem of hockey and stamina. And but I think awakening could maybe have gear four without using hockey, making him making his gear four endless. But eventually, he has to be a hockey master. Sure, he eventually has to be a hockey master, but he doesn't have to. The hockey master will push him above. But he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to be. Because his girlfriend's good enough at the moment. Sure, we can. We all know he's going to get awakening though. Yeah, that's a given. I don't know if Oda wants to change the, the fundamental designs of Gear 4, though. That's I mean, it would be the same, it just won't be black. Yeah, and that's the fundamental part of Gear 4. 
that's what the design is, then you'd have to change all the merchandise. And I the mean, iconic, that's, that's a meta and the, and the iconic image that's a meta of Gear 4, that's Snake meta. Man, Bear Man. That's a better that's a better fucking issue. But that, that's that's what you're gonna talk about when you bring up your design description. Uh it could be gear five. I don't combination think of gear all the gear five ge- man. Combination of all the gears. Speed, gear, power. But isn't everything. gear four already there? Kind of, yeah. But like maybe you could argue that. I think speed. Gear 4 is durable, um, uh, not durable, uh, it has an, enough utility to justify multiple positions. Maybe another Gear 4 form where it incorporates every single aspect of yeah. Gear 4, with Snake Man, Tank Man, Bound Man, all this, he can swatch, switch okay. switch in between. But yeah, all, all he really needs to be, Emperor level is just Emperor level strength, Emperor level stamina. And we all Emperor know he's going to get, we all know the final form is coming. Yeah. All it right. just depends on how he gets that. Yeah. It's such a short amount of time. Well, he'll we'll get listen. it. He'll, he'll pull it out of the bag somehow. All right. From Bardock. A.K.A. Andre. Okay, Andre. It looks like we're going to have a fight. I hope Oda... I hope that Oda doesn't just make another quick clash. That Sanji... That's what Sanji wants. But it would be more satisfying, and to be honest, well-written, if Page One. Made the fight way tougher than anticipated. I don't like the fact that Sanji is going to use the raid suit. His things should be on his own. He should he shouldn't depend on the suit. But anyways, do you think Page One is going to get def- defeated here? And if so, will it be fast or will we get a proper fight? Lightning quick. Bru- not lightning quick. Blue no situation. We're going to get a full chapter. One chapter. A little bit less than a chapter, I think. I think we're going to get a full chapter because we're going to have Germa bullshit with the fucking two double page bread. Uh, well, we also, we also need to like set up the next thing after this. So No, really. You can end the fight. We ended the fight next chapter. Ended the fight and then Sanji Drake wins. and Hawkins get alerted or whatever. Last page. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Full pa- a full chapter fight, I think it is going to be. Now, this is to show the power of the raid suit. We talked about how raid suit here means raid suit not necessarily in his fight at the end. But probably will be. It's a possibility. I don't think it will be. Because he's going to use it here. He's going to know what it does. We're going to know what it does. And then Sanji will be like, no, I don't need it. Does it hold more secrets after... No, it, it can't be a permanent power-up for Sanji. No one thinks it's going to be a permanent power-up. It's like it a Soga be. King. It's like a Soga King power-up. Depends how good it is. Dude, then like, the whole thing with Hulk Cake on, though. No. The whole thing about the Jerba science and the it. maybe he's been past it. Yeah, but the the message of the arc would be lessened if Sanji moves past that. That's yeah, he, fine. He, he, the message is that he doesn't need the science to be can't be a be a. Warrior. That's the whole message of the arc. I you know. don't need. But he's using it right now. So him using it, kind of already throws it out the window. Yeah, but he's using it for the right risk crew, whatever. Or he could just you know. But if it's a permanent power up, that means uh, Judge was right. Don't want that. He's using it in a certain circumstance where it makes sense. Maybe he's going to use it sporadically okay. when he needs to. I don't want it to be his But then you got the problem power. of uh, Sanji justifying being queen, Christian. Why do you think he's fighting queen? If that happens. Well, yeah, combo fight. I've already told you this. All right. With Dusop, sure. With someone. All right. Do I think it's bad that he's fighting page one now? No. When is he? Something for Sanji. Get it's not going to be a quick clash. It's gonna be a, he's going to defeat page one in a glorious destruction. So we can get that Sanji back in action. Yeah. Right? We need Sanji back in action. And we're going to have it. All right? All right, that's the question. From Silvers, what do you think will happen to remaining warlords after the system is removed, especially Mihawk and Hancock? Mihawk and Hancock will be fine. Don't worry about that. I don't them. know if Hancock is fine. They're too they're strong to be taken out. Hancock? She's going to be like, I'm under Luffy. Fuck off. Yeah, I can see I can see that. Luffy should be he's a fifth emperor already. Luffy takes Bar under his wing. They just fly the straw hat flag. Like Alabaster. Mihawk. Join Shanks as crew again. Uh, Mihawk is a lone wolf destroying everyone. Just destroy, join what Shanks' gonna, crew again. What are you gonna again? What are you gonna do? You can't do much. You can't do much against me. You gotta send a couple you gotta admirals. You're gonna send an admiral, at least one admiral after him. That's gonna be a fight. That's gonna be a fight. So I think Bear Hawk's fine. Is the Navy willing to put in that much resources for a dude that doesn't do anything? He's not really. He's not. Uh, he's a not threat. annoying the Navy. It's just there, you know. Anyway, from Jacko D Dragon, anime related question: What's the best opening in your opinion? We are. 
Oh, first, the first opening? We are, we go. That's the answer. First opening, I'm going to say. People want to say Fire Together. It's uh, okay. Crazy Rainbow. Uh, the, le- the latest one sucks. It's getting worse and worse, to be honest. Yeah, uh, it's going to be the first one because it's iconic and everyone loves it. And it's a great song. Yep. And it captures One Piece. That's why it's good. All right, from Totsqui. Well, TZQ. What am I supposed to do with that? All right. Do you guys think Blackbeard and Big Mom will come to Wano? If so, what act? Well, Big Mom's here. Blackbeard. So, act two, Blackbeard, act three, who knows? Act five. This means there has to be another surprise during the war, because Big Mom's already here. <laughs> yeah. So, back Blackbeard. Black, back Shanks? Shanks? Maybe, who knows? Can we get Shanks? Oh, we've talked about this a lot. Percentage of Shanks actually being in this arc? 10%. It's always a low percentage. I'm going to give it 30. It's always I, a I'm, low... I'm a... Okay. Rereading 907, I think I got the message that Oda is going to show all the emperors in Wano. It's the final war. Because they're all reacting to Big Mom's, uh, Big Mom's situation on the newspaper. If all the emperors are in Wano, how is this not the final war? Let me tell you that. Let me ask you that question. If all emperors are being shown at full power in Wano... What's the point of adding the Marines on top of the final war? Because we're not doing that again. Plot shit, you know? The plot shit. We don't have plot all the Pogliffs so and we're not in Raftel. What is the final war? Alright. Every... Next week. Get ready for it. Eric's on it. Now, I'll be in the background. It'll be a couple of days after the next episode. No, it'll be a couple of days after this comes out. It's this week. On, sure. Depending on the day, it's the 23rd for the Americans, 22nd for me. What's the 24th? 24th for me, 23rd for the Americans. Yeah. Sure. That's how time zones work. Yes. I'll be there uh, after the Brago conversation the other day. Yeah. Getting a little bit sweaty as to what's going to happen. Oh. But we'll have to wait and see. Maybe we read Sniper, shuts it down. Who knows? We'll see. All right. Shanks is the strongest? Shanks is okay. Wait, Christian. What? Like the video, subscribe to the video. Like the video, subscribe. New people, we got SoundCloud. Alright, if you want us to answer your questions, put them in the comment section. That's it. We'll put them in the question corner. Exactly. What the fuck? I was going to say something. What was I going to say? You got to plug something. Uh, King of Lighting shirt's coming out. Okay. Uh, Baby Shake shirt. Check it out. On the way. At some point, we'll be doing our own shirts. But, you know, we need an audience for that. Yeah. Live streams. People hitting me up, left, right, and center. They want live streams. You people want to talk to the gods that sit before you. I mean, okay. Australia internet real bad. All right. I think it's possible. It's possible. People want us to stream more. You have to turn up. We're going to, yeah. I want to see people turn up for streams. We'll probably, if if we stream... It'll be it's a set day every week at the same time. Now. It can't be about One Piece. It can't be about the chapter. It could be if we do it, say, Thursday or Wednesday, the day after the... But we, all, we have the episode. What's the point people, of the It'll have to be on the weekend. Oh. Thinking, thinking long term, ideally, it'll be on the weekend. Saturday, Sunday. Sure. But then we couldn't talk about the chapter. Well, we got the JoJo show to film on the weekend. Is that a lot of... A lot of Stream, if you watch streams, tell us you watch streams. We need people to turn up to them. We'll have a schedule in place. We'll have people, you know, you can jump in. Maybe, maybe we'll play little video games. Little chat. Who tell knows? us what you want for the tell streams. You if, the you streams. Just, if you just want to chat. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Definitely, on. definitely. All maybe right. maybe we, us two just hang out in the Discord. Uh, and you guys come to the Discord. We don't have to necessarily live stream it. Okay. If you want more interaction, but... Yeah. Do we have a Discord time that's not recorded? Discord Fridays, as some would say. We ever heard that before? I don't know. Oh. I've heard it somewhere. All right. So, ideas out there, let us know what's up. Shanks is a go king. Good night. When's Reverie? Wednesday? Thursday? Thursday.